Hi class. So for our um, lesson for the day, we're going to answer your chemical formula writing worksheet as your classwork um, from last week. So here is your um, worksheet that I have given you. So the first column, first row, uh, the first um, intersection of the columns and rows have been answered already. So we have zinc chloride. Paano natin nakuha yung zinc Cl2? So, um, as I have discussed before, this is based on the um, charges of the anions and cations that are given. So, ang anion natin dito is chloride. Chloride is Cl negative 1. So, for zinc naman, we have zinc positive 2 charge. So, kapag ganyan, so, mauna natin i-write yung cation. So, zinc and then Cl. So, yung subscript natin, anong ilalagay natin? So, it is based on the the charge of the of the given ion. So, we have uh, zinc, we have positive 2, and Cl, we have negative 1. So, pag pinag-cross multiply natin siya, uh, zinc will have a subscript of 1, and Cl will have a subscript of 2. So, zinc, hindi na natin sinusulat yung subscript na 1. So, zinc, and then Cl, ang subscript niya ay 2. So, that's how we arrived at this chemical formula for zinc chloride. Okay, for the following slides, we will be answering the uh, other columns and rows. But before that, we have to know ano ba yung formula ng uh, cations and anions natin. And there, um respective charges, okay? So, ito yung so, na hindi ko pala na-indicate dito yung sa zinc at saka yung sa chloride. So, we have idagdag na lang natin dito. So, chloride is Cl negative 1. And then zinc is Z... Ah, oh, sorry. Zinc is Zn positive 2. Okay, so we have acetate, CH3COO, we have negative 1 charge, nitrate, NO3, negative 1. Oxide, O, negative 2. Nitrite is N, negative 3. And sulfate is SO4, negative 2. Um, class, kapag uh, ganito yung polyatomic yung ion natin, so ibig sabihin it, it, is, it is composed of more than one atom. So we have here carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So kapag ganito yung ion natin, kapag isusulat natin siya ng may subscript aside from one, for example, two, three, and so on, basta except for one, ilalagay natin siya inside a parenthesis. So for example, CH3 COO. Kung lalagyan natin to ng 2 or 3. For NO3, we have NO3, 2 or 3 or 4. Pero kapag uh, 1 naman yung magiging subscript niya, hindi na natin siya kailangan ilagay sa parenthesis. So, kapag uh, sulfate, and then 2 or 3 or 4, etc. Okay? So, kapag ka ganito naman yung iron, kung makikita nyo na ulit siya, but it have uh, different charges. Uh, kasi meron, um, nasa transition elements yung iron. So, that is why pwede siyang maging, magkaroon ng positive 2 charge or may instances naman na positive 3 yung charge niya. Same with uh, lead, kaya may nakalagay na, a Roman numeral dun sa loob ng parenthesis. So, it can be positive 3, positive 4. So, in this case, we have um, positive 4 charge for lead because ang susundin natin is yung um, Roman numeral dun sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? So, we're ready to answer now since we now know the chemical formulas and the charges of the following anions and cations. So, unahin muna natin yung, uh, actually, this is the second row na. So, for zinc acetate, yung zinc natin is positive 2. So, acetate is CH3, 
COO negative 1 nitrate is NO3 negative 1 oxide O negative 2 nitrite is N negative 3 and sulfate SO4 negative 2 okay for zinc acetate we pag pinacross multiply natin yan so magiging um, yung zinc so, subscript will be 1 while the acetate subscript will be 2 so zinc and then acetate since 2 siya it's other than 1 ilalagay natin siya inside the parenthesis CH3 COO2 so then we have um, zinc nitrate nitrate is 1 so zinc 1 lang siya nitrate natin ilalagay natin sa parenthesis because it will be NO3 2. Okay? Then we have zinc oxide. Oxide with a negative 2 charge. So, and then yung zinc natin is positive 2. They have the same numbers of superscript. So, magka-cancel out lang siya. So, since pareho siyang 2, magiging zinc, Zn, and then O lang. Hindi na natin ilalagay yung 2 dito kasi magka-cancel out lang siya. And then for zinc nitride, we have zinc. Since nitride is 3, negative 3 and then nitride is 2 from the positive 2 of zinc then sulfate we have uh, since they are both uh, 2 the charges are both 2 they have um, the same um, number of charge so it will cancel out the subscript so we will write it so, since magiging 1 naman yung subscript niya, hindi na natin siya ilalagay sa parenthesis ng sulfate. So, zinc, SO4. This is the chemical formula for zinc sulfate. Okay. For the next column, for iron 2. So, iron 2 is Fp positive 2. Again, CH3, COO, negative 1. And... O3, negative 1, O, negative 2, N, negative 3, and sulfate, SO4, negative 2. So, Fe, and then Cl is of course negative 1. So, we have, since Fe is positive 2, Fe, Cl, 2. And then, Fe, so, magkakaroon ng 2 na subscript yung acetate natin. So, CH3, Lalagay natin sa parenthesis COO2 and then nitrate. Nitrate is negative 1. So, Fe. Lagay ulit natin yung nitrate natin sa parenthesis NO3. Okay, and then 2. Okay, for oxide, iron oxide, pareho silang 2. So, magka-cancel out yung subscript natin. Fe. O. And then for nitride, since it's positive 3, iron will have a subscript of 3. And then N will have a subscript of 2. And then for iron sulfate, F, E, pareho silang 2. So, F, E, S, O, 4 lang siya. Hindi na kailangan ilagay sa parenthesis yung S, O, 4 because 1 lang yung subscript niya. Okay, next. For iron 3, that ion, iron 3, positive 3 charge, chloride is negative 1, acetate, OO, negative 1, nitrate, NO3, negative 1, oxide, negative 2, nitrate, negative 3, and sulfate, negative 2. Okay, for iron 3, since uh, 1 yung chloride atom natin, FeCl3. Then for uh, iron acetate, so Fe, 1 lang yung acetate, and then 3 yung iron, so we have to put the acetate ion in parenthesis, FeCH3COO3, and then nitrate, Fe2, ay, nitrate is 1, so Fe pa rin, and then parenthesis yung nitrate, NO3, 3. 3 yung superscript, naging subscript na is 3. So, per ferric oxide, or, uh, or iron 3 oxide, we have Fe2 
from the superscript of uh, oxygen or the charge of oxygen 2 and then oxide will have 3 okay and then ferric nitride um, since pareho silang 3 mag cancel out yung subscript nila so we only have Fe N ferric sulfate is Fe2 and then SO4 3 okay so next for gallium we have gallium is a GA positive 3 so CL is negative 1 acetate negative 1 nitrate and O3 negative 1 oxide is O negative 2 nitride is N negative 3 and sulfate is SO4 negative 2 so for gallium chloride gallium and then chloride Cl3 from the, from the charge of gallium. For gallium acetate, we have gallium, parenthesis yung acetate, because ang subscript niya will be 3. And then nitrate, gallium is, um, nitrate is 1, so 1 lang siya. And then nitrate is uh, parenthesis, and then 3. Gallium oxide, so oxide has a positive 2 charge, that's why gallium will have a super subscript of 2, and then oxide is 3. Okay, next, gallium nitride, both of them have 3 charges. Numerical charge nila ay 3, so cancel out yung subscript, we have GAN, and then gallium sulfate, gallium 2 then sulfate will have a subscript of 3 okay next for silver our silver is AG with a charge of positive 1 chloride negative 1 acetate CH3 COO negative 1 nitrate NO3 negative 1 oxide O negative 2 nitrite N negative 3 and sulfate SO4 negative 2 so, for silver chloride, both of them have one positive, uh, positive and negative charge, AG, Cl, and then uh, silver acetate, AG, then the acetate, since the subscript will become one, still one, di na natin kailangan ilagay sa parenthesis. So, CH3COO, and then nitrate, negative one, positive one charge, silver AgNO3 and then silver oxide silver will have a subscript of 2 from the charge of oxide and then oxide will have an, a, one subscript nitride Ag3N and then for sulfate silver sulfate we have Ag2SO4 since 1 yung subscript na magiging ano ng sulfate natin, hindi na natin siya ilalagay sa parenthesis. Okay, next for the last one, last column. Okay, dito na natin ilagay. So, dito na lang. Yung lead natin is, uh, since yung uh, Roman numeral sa parenthesis ay 4, we have uh, PB for lead, positive 4. So, we have Cl negative 1, acetate negative 1, nitrate negative 1, oxide negative 2, nitride negative 3, sulfate negative 2. So, for uh, lead chloride, we have Pb, Cl4, lead acetate, Pb, CH3, in parenthesis to ha, COO4, lead nitrate, Pb, NO3, 4 and lead oxide PB so since may 2 yon and yung 2 yung charge ng oxide natin we have lalagyan natin 2 na dito and then oxide is 4 kapag ganyan ire-reduce pa natin siya sa lowest um, factor niya so divided by 2 divided by 2 PB O2 And then, we have um, 
lead nitride. So, PB3 N4 and lead sulfate PB2 SO4 4. So, same. Wait lang ha. Check po yung uh, i-reduce. Re Kasi, I think um, Marina sabi ko dito kanina hindi na natin siya i-reduce sa lowest factor kasi ang lead ay may ah yes okay tama lang pala i-reduce natin siya sa lowest uh, factor so PBO2 and then uh, since this will become um, divided by 2 divided by 2 it will become PB and then SO4 2 yung last natin lead sulfate Okay, so yan na yung answers dun sa binigay ko sa inyo na classwork. So, I want you to um, practice more. Kung may questions kayo, um, magtanong lang kay sa akin. So, for now, bibigyan ko kayo ng another examples para mas ma um, mahasa nyo yung um, activities natin dito sa chemical writing, formula writing. And then, maybe I will give another topic for um, next week. Uh, so, you will submit your classwork uh, next week. And then, I'll give another, our last topic for the finals. At magpa-final exam kayo. So, ang schedule na binigay for non-graduating students for your um, final examination week uh, schedule is... Uh, on June 6 to 11. So, I can still give you one more topic for the finals after this. Um, but for now, I will leave you a classwork with the same um, activity since now medyo may mas malinaw na kayo na um, understanding. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me or ask me um, so that I can discuss with you kung ano man yung medyo malabo sa inyo. Okay, so this will end our meeting. I, I will give you your classwork and um, and the next week uh, on Ma May 26 May 26 we will have our last topic for before your final examination. Okay, thank you class and um, good luck and God bless. Take care always.